Bitcoin right now is flashing a signal with the hash ribbons that usually the majority of the time leads to explosive price movement. So we're going to cover that in today's video. We're going to cover XRP and see if all time highs are in store for July 2023. And we're going to dive into some other altcoins as well, too. So if you're new here, subscribe at the notification bell, leave a like and a comment. Let me know how you did on that XRP pump. Did you miss it? or were you in? So let's dive into it because we have the bond yields right now and we're on the three day chart and we came to test this short term support trend line right now. On the three day chart, we have the momentum headed down here with the stock RSI. And if we go to the weekly chart, we have the stock RSI rolling over here as well too, curling down every single time it curls down through that 80 line on the weekly chart, pending confirmation, we got to wait for this weekly candle close. But look back here, November 2022, November 2022, we fell and the bond yields Right back here in March of 2023, we fell. And right now, it looks like we're going to keep falling with the bond yields. If we can have the stock RSI cross down below through this 80 line by the end of this week in four days. So that's what I'm watching there. And we definitely do not want to retest up here at that level, like 4.08%, because that was a scary moment right there. We want to see us get rejected if we come up to there and roll over. So let's go to the dollar. We're back above 100 right now. If we go to the three-day chart, so the three-day chart, we're holding that 200 simple moving average right there as support. But if we look to the past, we can see that, see the void line color, the red, the orange, the yellow, just like back here, the red, the orange, the yellow. When we hit the yellow, that's when we had our meltdown in the dollar. And that coincides with the date, July 16, 2020, July 13, 2020 was the start. But like until the end of July, we saw continuation to the downside for the dollar back in 2020. So I'm expecting the same thing here. I'm expecting us to go down in the dollar until the end of July. And then we have a little bit of relief in August, like the dollar will kind of consolidate. So I'm expecting more upside for the month of July for crypto. But there's a couple key things that we have to look at to, to make sure that will be the case. But right now with the dollar three day chart, we're seeing things align right now. And we have the momentum headed down the three day chart, stock RSI crossing down TSI MACD. If we go to the weekly chart, we had that cross down through the 50 line, with the stock RSI, the TSI is crossed down and the MACD is red. So I want to see that continue here. And we see the three week chart. We just crossed down below or we're getting close to crossing down below that zero line in the TSI. If we go to the two week chart. I think we just did it. I think we just did it. And the past times that we crossed below that line on the two week chart with the dollar back here, 2017 in July as well too. And then back here, in July of 2020. So July seems to be the month where we see the dollar melt down because July 2017, July 2020, now July 2023. So that three year cycle, three years in between, and I'm expecting more downside in the dollar, but that doesn't mean it will be a straight line down. So keep that in mind as well too. But we have massive macro signs that the dollar meltdown has just begun. So that's the dollar right there. If I go to like a short term time frame, like a six hour chart, don't be surprised to see a little pop up today. We do have momentum starting to build here. I think it would be short lived though. See, we see the six hour crossing up. If we go to the 12 hour, it's probably crossing up on the stock RSI, not yet in the TSI. Don't be alarmed. We see a little pop up, rebound, relief, and then pull back over. So that's for the dollar. Then if we go to the stock market, I can't believe it. We're still chugging our way up here. And it seems like it was a big move to the upside because we have these void lines opening up, the mouse. So we're at 15,644. If we go to the weekly chart, we're hugging the top of this void line here. And we're like literally about like 6.6% from the all time highs back here in November of 2021. And the momentum is still chugging on, chugging on up here. We have the stock RSI crossing up. We have the TSI still headed up. We're above the zero line. You go to the two week chart. We're seeing us above the zero line. Stock RSI is up here. I would like to see uh, this MACD turn dark green. I don't want to see it um, start to lose strength here. Then we have this trend line coming up like that. And we've been just kind of just riding this upwards trend line this is basically like vertical right now so we're in a massive move with the us nas 100 because the dollar was breaking down bond yields if that can pull down that'd be great if the dot if the dollar and the bond yields pull down usually cryptos will go up so that's that we look at we get a pulse on alt season so the reason why we saw some coins like xrp xlm and others really take a melt up 
is because we saw this chart break down. This is what's going to tell us if we're going into alt season or not across the board. So given that now we've seen that meltdown and most of it went into XRP, XLM, if we can break this 12 hour, 200 moving average here and continue down further, we're going to see melt ups across the board for all the altcoins. This is our altcoin pulse chart. So right now we do see the momentum's headed to the downside. We have on the three day chart, stock RSI cross down, TSI cross down hard. Usually when we see a cross down hard like this, we melt down in this chart, which is good for the altcoins. Five day chart, we're crossed down. I pull up the signals here. We just flash a sell now on the five day chart. Huge, absolutely huge. If we go to the weekly chart, we're flashing a sell now as we speak. Last time I did that, 2021 January, that was huge altcoin season. And then July 2022, where ultimately we hit the bear market bottom across the board for the crypto market. So this is a massive sign, massive sign here. So now let's go to Bitcoin dominance because I'm sure it's flashing a one week sell now or very close to it, very close to it. We have this two sell warnings and we see that the stock RSI is crossing below the 50 line right now. TSI is crossing down as we speak and the MACD is about to curl red. You look at the six day chart, we have the sell warning and we're crossing down and I'm sure the five day sell now is flashing right now. They have a five day sell now flashing right now. So in two days and 11 hours, if this can confirm with this candle close here, we're in good business, we're in good business. And this weekly chart will ultimately then likely flash a sell now too if we can maintain where we're at now or head just a tiny bit lower tiny bit lower and we're going to get those sell nows and that told us that in the past alt season we're all seasons were going to kick off. And I think we're just seeing the beginning of it right now. And XRP and XLM were the leaders of that. We have the two week sell warning as well, too. It's time. It's time, in my opinion, not financial advice, not a financial advisor, but this is what I'm seeing. So let's go to the total crypto market cap. Let's go to the five day chart and we see cross ups on the stock RSI, TSI. We're still heading up in the momentum. I want to see a little more here. We look at the one week chart. One week chart just crossed up above the 50 line. We want to see that confirmed. That's solid. We're above the zero line stock TSI is crossing up as well too. This is everything we want to see. So we really need to just get above the 786 here from this high down to this low. And that's 1.195 trillion. Like 1.2 trillion is the level to get above and hold that support. So then we can fire up here to like 1.477 trillion. And that will be a melt up because if we're seeing that Bitcoin dominance about to roll over, and this altcoin pulse chart is rolling over. And if we can get the total crypto market cap up to here, a lot of the altcoins are gonna swallow that up. If we look at the altcoin market cap, the total three, we go to the daily chart. And right now we're trying to hang above that 200 day moving average right now. We've been wrestling around with it for a bit. If we pull down, I don't think we pull down much. We got this line of support here. We look to the left, we held it as support all the way back here, resistance, support, support. We got above it, so like it, it's just a hair lower if we pull down. But I think we might've already pulled down this morning. Yeah, it'd be like 2.77%. If we look at the three-day chart, and where do we need to take the level out here? That is 380 billion. So 380 billion, and it's no surprise that when we fired up the other day on Friday, we saw a wick right up to that 786. We touched it at first, came back down, we just need to give it another try, break through it, and then we'll start to fire up, likely to these 200 moving in, 200 moving averages up here. But on the three-day chart, we're seeing that TSI start to head vertical here. Last time it headed vertical was back here in January 2023, and we saw a lot of altcoins in the crypto market melt up. So I believe we're still in the early phases of a melt up. So that's that. So that's the altcoin market cap. And we look at the weekly chart. We're crossing up through that 50 line. We see the TSI is crossing up, the MACD is crossing up into green, and we're right below that zero line in the TSI. Um, what hung us up and where altcoins kind of came back down to retest and do a double bottom was the weekly chart. Yeah, we crossed up here in January 2023, which led to a melt up, but we got rejected from that zero line in the TSI. So we're still in bearish negative territory. Right now, we're seeing a cross up here, and we're very close to the zero line. I believe that. When we get up here, we're going to break through the zero line and that's when the melt up for the altcoins really come in. And I think we could see it in the month of July. I really do. So um, this is a good sign right now. We want to see this confirm at the end of this week, this candle cross, this uh, TSI cross up, MACD flip green. We want to see uh, Bitcoin dominance flash that sell now. And uh, yeah, we'll likely see that melt up. If we look at Bitcoin now, right, the hash ribbons. So let's take a look at this. I'm going to drag this to the top. So when the hash ribbons hit this like red capitulation mode, once we cross back up 
to green. So like you'll notice here, like we had red kick in and then we cross back up to green. We have a good move. Then right here, we had red kick in. And then when we had green kick back in, we melted up. And then back here, there's only one like false signal, which was here, it was up here. But then we had red kick in, we had green come, but then I think this was, uh, so there was, a, oh wait, we didn't flash the buy signal though. The buy signal flashed here. And that's what got us up here. We had red, we crossed the green, we flashed up. And back here, we had red, we had capitulation, we had the green and we melted up. And then back here as well too, after the COVID crash, back here in 2016, we had red, then we had the buy signal, we melted up. So like, this is a good sign, but I wanna see us hold $30,000 level during this capitulation moment with the hash ribbons. If I zoom in here, you can see capitulation, capitulation. So like back here, capitulation, November, 2022, and then I'll show you the chart that was back here. We saw that capitulation moment kick in, but like it already crossed red after we've already dropped. So like we could just be going sideways and that's like our capitulation moment because it's boring with Bitcoin right now. It's been like a month of going sideways. Um, but when we see this cross up, this and turn green and flash a buy signal, it's on. I think Bitcoin's going to boom. So that's that. And then if we look at the monthly chart, the monthly chart for Bitcoin is flashing a one month buy now. It's flashing a one month buy now right now, which is a massively huge signal because we've never seen it flash before in all of Bitcoin's history. We've seen the sell nows hit the tops, but we've never seen a one month prepare to buy soon than a buy now. So this is definitely super bullish. We need to see in 14 days us hold above 30K for this to confirm, this blue beam to confirm as a buy signal. So we're going to be watching that. And yeah, and if we do have a correction for Bitcoin, I would say 28,500 is the level that we're going to test. Let me put this horizontal line there. Yeah, it'd be like right here. This is where we would test on a dip down because we have these rejection points. We got above, we got above, came below, rejection, got above. So if we do pull down with Bitcoin, I'd expect 28 point like 4K, 28.5K to be the level where we hold that support. And then worst case scenario, like around 27K if we pull down. That's if we pull down. But right now we're holding good market structure. Like we're maintaining above, we're hold, we're fighting for our lives to hold above 29.9K, 30,000. And, uh, you know, we do have scary moments when we pull down, we pull down, but we ultimately end up popping. And this is what we wanted to see. We want, And we had said that we would see Bitcoin rip up, go up to 30, 31K, stabilize, and then we'd see all coins run. And that's what we're seeing right now. So I don't mind Bitcoin you know, just keep on chopping around in here because that gives these altcoins a chance to, to go on their own runs. There are many runs here. So I like it. I like it. 12 hour chart though, like the 12 hour chart with the stock RSI, we need to see that cross back up above that 50 line. And we need to see the 12 hour TSI maintain above the zero line here. It's good that this MACD is printing like a lighter candle right now because that's showing that, all right, we're trying to change the trend. But I would say in the next 12 hours, I want to see us have a good move out of Bitcoin so we can maintain above the zero line and cross up here. But we do see the selling volume is lowering right now. So this is all good news. If we go to the daily chart, we want to see that cross up, of course. And if we go to, yeah, yeah, look at the, the blue and the pink. We want to see this blue get rejected back down, this pink come back up so Bitcoin can maintain it's market structure here. We don't want to see the blue rip up because then we'd be flipping bearish. So that's that. And then if we look at Litecoin, so Litecoin's at 92 right now. We're plotting our next big move with the Stargate VIP. So if you want VIP access to hit these moves that we're taking, join premium, join the Discord link is in the bio. Hit me up. It's Rob at Stargate or hit up Eric at Stargate. Yeah, members turn $500 into like $12,000, $15,000 in a matter of a day off that XRP move and the XLM move. We we had called it multiple days before. Same with XLM on the first round when it was back at like nine cents. But um, yeah, we hit that. We hit that big. At Stargate, we've already experienced a bull run. We've had, I, I hit a 10X on that move. Other people hit like a 50X, a 30X, a 20X. It's been crazy. It was a crazy week. And by the way, we're back on TikTok. We got our account reinstated. So thank you to anybody who did that report a problem to TikTok. We got it back, baby. So we're back in business. So right now, Litecoin is start, starting to press back up. If we go to the daily chart. We tested the 200 moving average. We have this trend line support like this. That we tested, we're holding it right now. I like to see on the 12 hour chart us to cross up here, and it's starting to look like oh, and on the 12 hour chart, we we tested the 200 moving average as well, too, testing previous resistance and support as well. 
I like where we're at. Like I do like where we're at as far as Litecoin goes. If we take this low to this high up here, we could pull down to 87, you know, 87.50. But like, I think um, we've already pulled down. It depends what the dollar does today, of course, what Bitcoin does, the 10 year bonds. But I believe we're closer to a bottom on Litecoin than us like rolling over more. I, I don't see that being the case. We're getting a nice candle as well right now as well, too. It does look like we're going to start firing back up. And I think it would be an explosive move out of Litecoin and we're plotting our next move on it. So this is solid news with Litecoin right now. If we look at XLM, XLM, if we go to the nine hour chart with the FIB forecaster, next level, the FIB forecaster is next level. Like we literally, we came right up to that 4236 extension and then came right back down to that FIB overlap zone. We're holding that support right now. We have like three levels right here and we're holding that bottom level right now. If we do roll over, this is the next level. So like the FIB forecaster utilize it because it's pretty solid because we melted right up through this level. We came right up to this and then we went hit the 4236. We go to like a two hour chart, see it a little better. Yeah. So we're holding right now with Stellar. If we go to the Holy Grail charts, XLM, we go to the three day chart. We have sell warnings, I think. No, no sell warnings on Stellar on the three day. But when we do, we know it's the big one. We know it's the big one with Stellar. But we do have a two-day sell warning. We do have a two-day sell warning, which was an early sign like back here in 2017. Like if we match this up, we had the two-day sell warning. We pulled back down. We didn't flash a sell now. We flash another two-day sell warning. Then we flash a sell now at the top. I'm so confident with the, the software that we built to hit this bull market top. It's not even funny. I can't wait for it. But Let's pull this up like this, right? This could be in the cards here. It is be in the cards. A lot of people say, oh, market cap or this, that, and the other thing. We'll see. We'll see here. But this is matching up pretty well. We pulled up, came back down. We start to round out and come up here. And then August, August 13th, another fire up to a buck, to a buck. We'll see if it plays out, if it matches from the past. And things won't be exactly the same. They'll not match perfectly, but they'll rhyme. But I'm seeing bullish momentum out of Stellar, out of XRP. We're maintaining those levels up here. We went to 18 cents. All right, so when you see a coin go 100% in a day, it's obviously gonna pull back down. Obviously gonna pull back down because you go up 100%, you pull back down 40%, right? 37%. And then from that level, you go up another 100%. And now you're at 25 cents, you pull back another 40%, right? And then you go up another 100%. That's how it works. So just because it pulled back down doesn't mean it's not going back up again, right? So we're holding this level of support right now. Now let's go to XRP. So XRP though, it's flashing the signals that we all been waiting for. Three days sell warning again. Three days sell warning right now. Last time it did it after that move that we had said, you know, the sell now that came in one last dump, sell warning, we fired up. We have the three day sell warning. We have the four day sell warning. Like look at that four day sell warning. We had the four day sell warning up here. Each time we had a four day sell warning was a massive move, massive move here in the 2021 bull market, December, 2017, March, 2017. And then November 2014, every single one was a massive move. And we can even calculate it. Let's calculate it. 500%, 6,500%, 1,000%, 700%, even more, 780%. Right now, we've only gone up like 100%, 80%. I think there's more in store. I definitely think there's more in store. And I'm not personally selling until we see a three-day sell now, maybe even a four-day sell now. Four-day sell now has hit the utmost top. We're gonna try to nail this top to a T, but we're not done yet. So that's what I'm watching as far as XRP and calling this top and um, taking some chips off the table here. So that's that. And then if we go look at XRP dominance, totally breaking out. Yeah, there's some huge signs right now in the charts. But if we look at kind of the top gainers today, we got CELOs up 15%, DAG up 10%, GALA's up 7.4%, ALGO up 6%. Sui up 5%. We're seeing the market go, you know, like we're seeing the altcoins start to pick up. We're seeing some of these other coins start to show face now. So exciting times are ahead, guys. This is going to be it for the crypto market update. I'll be doing newsletters today, a deep dive, and I'll be in the Discord. So link is in the bio. Come join it. I'll see you guys in there and in the next video.